Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to repartition a hard drive on Windows. So a lot of people don't actually know it's possible to repartition a hard drive. So we're going to basically just jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up your start menu. Just lock on the start button one time. Type in computer management. One of your best matches should come back with computer management right above desktop app. Left we'll click on that one time. Now you want to left click on disk management. So please keep in mind that this cannot actually be a partition on the drive Windows installed on, the one that we're going to be repartitioning here. So won't actually be able to do that. Okay, so now that we're in here, I'm gonna select my new volume E, that just happens to be what the name of it is. I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna left click on shrink volume. Now it's gonna ask you to enter the amount to shrink the disk by in megabytes. I would suggest allocating however much you feel is appropriate here. So whatever is already in the field by default it's a maximum amount that you can actually save on the partition. So you can actually put a smaller amount but you can't put on a larger amount basically. I'm just going to set it to 500 megabytes and I'm going to left click on shrink. And then once it's done it should say unallocated so now you have to right click on it. Left click on new simple volume, left click on next for the wizard. I would suggest making it whatever the maximum disk size for the simple volume size, make them both the same. Left click on next, assign the drive letter, and then left click on next again. Name it whatever you want. So I'm going to just call it, I'm not very creative, I'm going to call it the new drive. And I'm going to left click on next, and then left click on finish. And give it a moment here. And there you go guys. And it should also come up with a little pop-up on Windows that says a new drive has been inserted. So pretty straightforward. And I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.